We're back, bitches. What's up? Thought you saw The Last of Us. You were wrong. Thought you heard The Last of Us. You were wrong. Um, can I just say, long time, no talk. Like, yeah. minimal talk. Especially for girls who talk <laughs> too, a little too much. much. Um, Welcome back to remember, the podcast. Okay, let me just start with the elephant in the room, COVID. Um, <laughs> yep. I was listening at the very beginning of quarantine. I was listening to our old episodes, and there's an episode of us talking about COVID, and I was like, yeah, it's in China. There's only, there's like, not only, but I said, it's, there's like this thing called coronavirus going on. It started in China. There's like 12,000 or 1,200 cases, but I'm scared. 12,000 was like our biggest like Yikes. issue. Now, that us now. Us. There's like 300 cases just on campus alone. Yeah. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. You, we both were like, that's scary. Anyway, we like moved on to the yeah, next topic and quick didn't care. Over. Now it's our life. Look at us now. Now we're living it and it sucks. <laughs> we're six feet apart. <laughs> our desks are so far apart from each other. I don't like being this far apart. I don't either. We live together. Yeah, we're roomies. So if she has it, I have it. Yeah. And vice versa. Yeah. I just got tested. I'm negative. Woo! So if you're listening, don't be scared. You'll... Catch it from me. From the airwaves. If you see Kristen Sound on campus, waves. if you see Kristen on campus, you're good. Yeah, you can actually don't come up. No, don't, to me. don't, don't. I'm not a people person. We all know but that. Anyway. Um, who's it? What's who's? It? Hello. You're okay, right. Never mind. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. Did you see someone? You just looked like you saw a ghost, and I got scared. No, I just I think I'm really loud. But whatever. I think you're fine. Okay. You're fine. So. What's good? What? Any updates on your life? We. <laughs> you it's been like a while that? since we've done this. Yeah, I feel out like... of place. I know. I lost. We lost our mojo. We lost our mojo, and we a lost a few bit. people on our team. Yeah, yeah, guys. I don't know if you remember, but I probably mentioned Austin Coward every podcast, and I will continue to do so. Shout out, um, Coward. Miss Austin, you. If you're listening, he graduated. To this, miss you, Lauren too. Austin, Austin and Lauren, we missed the old team. But we like the new team. Yeah, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I'm just saying we miss them. I miss Coward. Yeah. I really do. Yep. Coward, you know I do. <laughs> I, I sobbed. No, I didn't, but. Not quite. We also, we got a new editor. Hi. Everyone, let's hear it for William. Will for short. Add applause. Add applause. Please add applause into that. Will. Right? Add and then. <laughs> Uh, we lost Michael. Then start. Don't want to talk about it. (laughs) We're really bitter that Michael left us. Yeah. Whatever. He started his. No, he took over our podcast. He's doing music at the dub now. Free advertising. So shout out to Michael with his new podcast. We wish you the best on your new venture in life. True. That's not funny. (laughs) (laughs) You're laughing at it. Yikes! We shouldn't bring that up. Um, did you have any topics for today? (laughs) <laughs> do you remember when uh, we would do that? Can I be honest? It's been a long time. <laughs> and this came out of nowhere. I didn't know we were recording today. No, like, I, I reminded knew you last night. Last night. And okay. So there's a pandemic going on. Um, also, it's my senior year of college. So I don't have that many classes. Same. I'm only doing four. All four of my classes are on one day. Well, two days a week. Mondays and Wednesdays. So don't fuck with me on Mondays and Wednesdays. <laughs> That's a Monday. And we're recording on a Monday. Um, so I'm yeah. busy. And on the days that I'm not at school, I'm working at Sally Beauty. Hit her up. Um, don't. Please don't come in. <laughs> actually, you know what? That'd be fun. So my manager will know that I... Have friends. Have friends and people actually like me. Um, I know my manager likes me, but I'm kind of shy sometimes at work. Yeah. So I want people to come in. So he's like, oh... She's a friendly face. She's got, she got people. So, I'm not going to tell you, but guess what? I'm not going to tell, oh, fuck. I was going to say, I'm not going to tell you. Pretend I didn't say that. It's the one close to campus. Not by Target, the one on South College. Um, Yeah, fuck the one by Target. Yeah, fuck that one. We like the one off South College. We do. It's the biggest one in this area. If you like dyeing hair, they have the best hair dye. Mm -hmm. I can attest because I've dyed my hair 20 times probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was the best one I've ever had. Red both times, surprisingly. Yeah. They were okay. Yeah. This but yeah, so one wasn't good. I'm busy, like, all the damn time. I have free time on weekends sometimes. So I just wasn't ready for the podcast today, I'll be honest. 
I was thinking we could talk about, like, I don't know. Things that happened to you during the pandemic. Nothing. For example, I, I got a job in turn 21, and my fish died. <laughs> <laughs> and my fish but I got died. a new one. I had a beta fish named Alfie. All right. Rest in fucking peace. And if you yeah. think I cried, you're correct. I sobbed. Straight up sobbed over a beta fish. But it's all right. I got a new one named Neptune. And I think he has some type of... Something's wrong with his brain because have yet yeah he's got something wrong. Something's wrong up there because he has yet to sleep. I've had him for about three weeks, hasn't fallen asleep yet. Whereas my old fish would sleep sometimes. No one wants yeah. to hear me talk about my fish. But anyway, the three main things that happened to me: job, twenty one, dead fish, new fish. What were the top three things to happen to you? Um, what the f- I don't know. What between the, the months of uh, when did the shit start? March, March, I think we had to leave. To August. A long time. Um, Anything? Fuck. I don't know. I. <laughs> I have to put you on the spot. Uh, took the GRE. I took physics and exercise physiology online. Um, that was pretty much Sorry, my that life. Was that was my life. It was, it was school. But and that's good. Well, no. That's good, though. Well, school is not fun, school. but you're hustling. Am I? That's good. I guess. Yeah, that's you my are. side hustle. The school. That's good. That's not. Even, that's the. That's the main hustle. That's the hustle, and I have no other hustle. My side hus- hustle is binge watching Full House. <gasps> oh yeah, um, we've been watching I didn't tell a lot you. I hate house. to break it to you. No. Last night I watched some Full House without you guys in my room. Did you get up to Steve? No. All right, so then Steve I don't hasn't care. showed up that's yet. Fine. So in our household, we live with our friends Caroline and Mary. Shout out if they're listening. Hey. Um, we've been watching Full House a lot. And I just started season five without you guys. I'm sorry. Becky is pregnant. Already? Yeah. You this have to, show is quick. Yeah. Becky's yeah. pregnant, and they just found out it's twins. Jesse was freaking out. And then, um... What are their names? Chuck and Larry? <laughs> it's like something like that, I right? I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. No, it's <laughs> Nikki <laughs> and... Alex. Alex. Yeah. Um, and, oh, Danny Tanner... There was an episode where... Danny. Okay, let me ask you. How old do you think Danny Tanner is supposed to be? The main dad in Full House? In season five. In season four. In season four? I think it was season four is when this episode was. I'm... Okay, let me work some math. Because we watched an episode where him and Joey were in college, and he already had DJ. And he okay. was like, this is my kid, and it was ugly. Right. So I'm okay. guessing in season four, she ha- he has to be like... Wait, I'm thinking 21 plus 13 is... 30... Three. 33? Guys, I'm bad 34. at math. 34. All right, 34. I'm guessing he's 35. He's 33. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, really? Um, yeah. So it started, the episode started with them at the... Their, the Hello? Cool if I can speak, I think. The episode started with her at the dinner table. And they're at the dinner table. And someone notices a gray hair on Danny's head. And then yeah. he starts freaking out because he's old now. And then someone... I wasn't paying. I was half paying attention. I'll be honest, but someone was like, "Uh, I forget." Someone mentioned that he's thirty three, and that that's an old age. And then he it's was not. panicking because he got gray hair, and he's thirty three. Which also, uh, I'll be thirty three in twelve years, and that seems soon to be honest. Thirty three is not old. It's not young, but it's, it's not, not old. Yeah, but it's not old. Do you Let me just mean? say two things. A, he has three kids already. That yeah. he's a single father. That's gonna age gray you. Gray hair. It's from stress. stress. Look at Obama, pre-presidency, after. Holy f, he aged. He aged forty years. I was gonna say four decades. I was gonna say four decades. You Fuck went off. the smart way of yeah. saying it. Um, B, Try sometimes. People get gray hair early. I legit just showed her a picture of Logan Lerman, aka Percy Jackson. Yeah, He's twenty eight, and all the ladies, including myself. And some gray hair already. men are freaking out about his gray hair. That Silver it looks Fox. good. Salt and pepper. He's got salt and pepper. Yeah, he's got the salt and pepper yeah. look already, and it's hot. I'll yeah. admit it. Average white boy, I'm mm. for it. Sorry yeah. to say um, to myself. Oh, that reminded me of a topic real quick. Um, but I was gonna say, long story short, in that episode, Danny's like, "I'm young, I'm hip, I'm cool," and it gets he gets two in his head. And he that's has, every other episode. That oh he yeah, says that. there's. 
an intern, a college intern at Wake Up San Francisco, his talk Wake show, who's 21, God, and he starts dating her, a 21-year-old. I don't like that. That's a... Yeah, it was a little weird. Big age gap. Um, and then, obviously, he breaks up with her at the end. Wait, what happened to Rusty? Because <laughs> they're done dating. What are you talking about? That girl who had Rusty. Oh, I guess so, yeah. This show never explains breakup. No, they just women start with come new, into their lives yeah. and then never show up ever again. Like, Joey had a girlfriend, yeah. was um, going to marry her, that was one episode. and then we never saw her again. No, Rusty's mom is gone. See Because he just was like, she's obviously flirting with him. Bitch, I'm 21. If I saw a hot 33-year-old, oh, I worked forward. for a hot 33-year-old. Mm, yeah, come know? on. Um, Danny Tanner's cute. I'll admit. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. He has his moments where he's not he's not too cute. He's annoying. Scrawny, lanky boy. But yeah. um that's my type, so it's fine. But yeah, they go to a concert, like they sneak into a concert. Like imagine Danny Tanner sneaking into a rock concert. That's no. what happened. But then he broke up with her because she started hanging out with DJ. That's so weird. His own daughter. That's weird. Yeah, because she's like a teenager. That's but anyway. Weird. So that's what you missed on Full House. <laughs> Just for you guys too. Oh, I was gonna say because you mentioned average-looking white boys or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't get the height with... Can I guess? Fill in the blank. Yes. Is it Timothy yes. Chalamet? <laughs> I, I agree. I don't get the height. I agree. He is in indie movies, and those are... People I saw Lady say, Bird. Oh, indie movies like, are such a small niche, and like no one watches it. Everyone has not. seen every yeah. indie movie. I agree that's a good Look, I'm different. Genre. I've seen Juno. It's yeah, like, like, no. That's not it. Scott Indy? Pilgrim. Yeah. We've all seen it. Michael Sarah. We've all seen Michael Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I say Love Michael Sarah. He, yes, he's attractive, but not rat. for that hype. <laughs> like she a said rat. rat. But not, he doesn't need that much hype. No. He's hyped up to, honest, to the max. I feel like people that like Harry Styles are the same types that like Timothy Chalamet, but I think Timothy Chalamet is like Harry Styles, but like in a, another dimension where he... Yeah, like a downgraded... It. Yeah. <laughs> I love Harry Styles. Quite frankly, that's I'll what it looks like it. to me. I have a Harry Styles shrine. Kind of. Not really, but I do. No, you do, though. It's three. Your person's bedroom is a shrine. <laughs> It's one big poster. There's a lot of Harry two... in her room. Oh, there's three pictures now. Speaking of apartment. We have an apartment. <laughs> Do you talk about our roach problem? Guys. I don't know if anyone wants to hear about this. I'm talking about it. But we're going to talk about Let it. Let me say this. I hate the South. Fuck the lost at Randall. For the main reason of cockroaches slash palmetto bugs slash water, water bug, bugs. Because we can't just have one name for something. we got to have 25. Because fuck being easy and simple. But yeah, lofts at Randall, I want to know. Also uncommon, because they have roaches. We learned that. Oh, apparently. What's yeah. with the roach infestation? Anyone Fix else the gaps listening in the walls. got a roach problem? I don't get it. Guys, we don't keep our windows it's open. really bad. We don't keep our door open. We don't open. leave food out. No, we're like We're clean. not. We, I feel like, yeah, there are dishes in the sink. But that's roaches not the thing to the attract sink. bugs. No, they like and sugary we're not dirty. stuff. Like, we don't leave food. Like, no. you know what I mean? Like, the dishes in the sink don't have food on them. And also... The longest a dish has been there might be, like, overnight. Two days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, a full 24-hour cycle. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. I We don't get it. We kill one two to three every night. Yes. It's gotten better. Has it been a whole day since an encounter? We didn't see one yesterday. So yeah, the yeah. change that. We have a thing. You know, in the office, I don't know. Do you know? Yeah, where it says, days since our last nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Jim and Dwight. And it was, like, blank days since our last nonsense. And it was like super high by like it was like fifty six, and they had to race it and break down to one or something like that. I'm getting or zero scam call. Should I answer? Yeah. Yes. Put it on speaker. Hello. Hello. Hi. My name is Tim. I'm calling from the Progressive Journal Project. Jail? Jail. <laughs> Is it jail? It's progressive. Jail? I don't know. I think he's progressive jail. something project. Why did he sound like that? He sounded sad. That's what I'm saying. Did he no, say jail? No. And then he said, "Is Lindsay available?" Oh, he and knows who you are. Yeah. That's fine. It said something North Carolina. It said potential spam. I never answer those. No, you shouldn't. Well, you're not supposed to say anything. You're not supposed to say yes. That's why I just said hello. Or your name or no. Because yeah. then they can record that and then use your voice. Why did he it. sound like he was being held at gunpoint? Maybe he was. He was like, Hello? Maybe he's my in name. jail. He's like, my and name that was a collect call. 
No, he said progressive something something. Do you think he heard me say jail? Because he wants my dumb brain to be like, oh, progressive insurance. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think I use progressive, card. though. Yeah. Let me give everyone my social here. security one. Well, Five. Jim, if you're listening, <laughs> get the frick out of here. Get out of here, potential um, scam. What were we talking about? Oh, the office, whatever. So we have a thing on our chalkboard in our kitchen. We have, like, two chalkboards on the wall. Yeah. One of them... It's a big picture of the cockroach from Spongebob, where there's a cockroach eating a hamburger. Or, sorry, Krabby Patty. On the little table. On that little table. It he's was the like, Wumbo episode. the happy one, not the sad yeah. one. Yeah, and then our other... What's it called? Chalkboard? Hello? <laughs> sorry. Our other chalkboard says, blank days since our last bug encounter. Yeah, so far and we're at one. And it's been zero. Oh, it's been zero for Today like two weeks. Today we're at weeks. one, finally. Oh but it's been at zero for a hot minute because every day, one of the four of us has an encounter with a bug. Yeah. It used to be like two to three bugs a day. A, a day. Yeah, it'd bad. Be, sorry. It would be one in one person's bathroom and then one like in the kitchen or one in someone else's room. Yeah. And it's usually ugh, these big roaches. But Kristen had a thing in her room too. <laughs> the thing that you squashed on your seat. Oh, uh, your wig. You blocked that it from your memory, I think. Yeah, I did not like that. Um, but it's mainly a roach problem. Yeah, so, you know what? Comment below. I like to say that, even though we don't have comments. No. Comment below if you live in North Carolina. I think on our website have we have a comment section. On I the, won't whatever, ever <laughs> read check them. Those, but, but I'm sure whoever does is fascinated to, to know the answer. So if you have a bug problem, let us know, and we won't do anything about it, but we just want to know. I, just, I lived at Wilshire with Mary last year, and we had two cockroaches the entire year. And yeah. we've already surpassed that tenfold <laughs> within the first month of living yeah. at the loft. Dude, I lived on campus and, I'm sorry, and had one, and it's campus. But the fucking leasing office at the lofts can suck my dick. They're all rude, and I hate them. Yeah. They're really not nice they have people. have an attitude. And they're dumb. Yes. They were awful from the get-go when they wouldn't tell us when we could move in. And then I called, and I have fucking phone anxiety. I don't like talking on the phone. Who does? Who does? No one does. Psycho. So I had to muster up the courage to call, and then the woman on the phone was a bitch to me. So frick the leasing office. <laughs> Frickin' frack, dude. So, yeah. yeah, I'm over that. But we had an exterminator come, um, and we've been... Good so far. So far, so good. We've had yeah. like two. But he said that's come. normal to see them right after a yeah. spray session. And they were supposed to. <laughs> Sorry, I said that. They were supposed to come and patch maintenance. Okay, so exterminators came, did a great job. Bye, see ya. Maintenance was supposed to come and patch up the holes under our sink today, Monday. Guess what? Monday came and went, <laughs> and they're not. They didn't show up. So no. fuck the loss of Randall. This is my call to action. I'm doing a change.org petition to. <laughs> Step it up. Yeah. Just step it something. up, guys. We're really struggling. And we're not being dramatic when we say two to three no, a day. No, no. Honestly? No. Sometimes it's four. I like, live... It's weird. ...in a constant it's state of fear. scary. I tiptoe into my bathroom every day. I yeah. kick the door open first. <laughs> and then I... I'm not kidding. Warning. I'm not kidding. Every morning, I kick the bathroom door open... And then I put on my flashlight on my phone and I check every corner and I yeah. shake my shower curtain to yeah. scare them just in case because I will not be caught dead with a roach in the shower. It's happened to me before at home, not at the apartment. Oh, yeah, I've had and that. And I'll never have, it won't happen again. I promise you that. Every night before I go to bed, I'm say because I, I'm like, I, I get crazy, but this I feel is normal. Six to eight times a night, I put on my flashlight and I check every inch of my floor walls and ceilings because a huge one came into my room a huge one like the size of your palm and i did not like that encounter and i had to figure out how to kill by myself because i didn't want to cause can i tell you what happened to me last night i'm I'm over it listen to me (laughs) i swear to god i shit myself last night wait this is the first i'm hearing about it was like four Okay. Four so, in the morning? Yeah, four in the morning. Why so are you up? I didn't fall no, I fell asleep around three. I couldn't fall asleep till three and I had to get up at yeah. fucking seven thirty. I was pissed. Fell asleep, apparently. You See your ears kicking her ass, dude. It really it's is. Kicking her fucking ass. Um and I woke up to a bang in my room. Like a I'm can't I can't recreate it. Okay. Loud enough that it woke me up and my heart started racing. Yeah, like who's in my room? I, I literally was like, What? 
And then I did it again, and I like, scoop, like got my phone, put on my flashlight, and I did it again. And I was like, oh my god! It sounded like someone was like knocked, like banging on my bathroom door. Mm. And I was like, someone's in my bathroom. But then I want my flashlight over there. My fucking Christmas lights, one of like the hooks on it okay. fell off. So and then because it's like two on the corner, the middle one fell, so it swung. Oh. And then, I, clo- oh, I, I closed my bathroom door because I'm scared of bugs coming in from my bathroom yep, into yep. my room. Yeah, I so the it, it door was now. hitting the door, and I had, I guess, really good momentum because I did it three times, loud, and I literally, I would have cried, almost crap myself, and I legit went to the bathroom because I almost peed myself. In the <laughs> I'll admit it on here. I don't give a sh- fuck. I thought I was getting murdered. <laughs> so That's scary. I screamed at one point, and I was gonna text. Sorry if I woke up. It wasn't text I Mary. I wish you did. Because okay, me and Mary okay. share a wall. Yeah. Um, but she didn't say anything today, so I don't think she heard But do you guys even charge? Huh? Even share a wall? I feel like... My... I share a wall with her, with her bathroom. bathroom. So I hear her in the bathroom, but never... Only, like, her shower. But I don't hear... Like, she plays music. She's like, oh, is it too loud? I'm like, I don't hear anything. You're yeah. good. But I was... But still, I'll scream in the middle of the night. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I wish I texted the group, because I really wish I woke up to that. Dude, the first what was just pure, like, uh, what? <laughs> then I heard it again, and I realized it was pitch black in the room and That's not daytime. So <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to die. This is my death. I also... Was scared a bug knocked it off once I figured it out. I so was I did a nervous. night check of my say, bug. That thud was just a bug like hitting the wall. <laughs> like with that, with that much power and force. <laughs> would I got spooked, moved dude. out then and there. You would have woke <laughs> up and seen my room empty. Not been gone. You would have been gone. You Four a.m. You would have been. You were already me halfway up. to Raleigh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Scary. I tell you, my heart, I thought I was going to pop out of my chest. And then I couldn't fall back asleep for a bit. I was so scared. I mean, yeah. I was so scared. Good times. No, thank you. I was so mad. No, bad times, dude. Should have bad times. No, it was was bad. Yeah. It was. Did you have a toddler? Um, no. Sorry. (laughs) But I looked up. Sorry, folks. What did I search? Fun topics to talk about. And I want you to know the first one is... What was the first car you owned? So much fun. All right. So they, they're not good, you know? Um, I think we can make them fun. This one is, what do you think about current news story? Uh, and yours was input. Oh, oh, I was like, do you mean stories? <laughs> no. What teams do you follow? Are you actually Yeah, what teams do you follow? We don't what does follow that mean? teams. Sports teams? We like hockey, and I like I baseball, say, and that's it. The only sports team I follow is the New Jersey Devils on uh, Instagram. And, or do, the, do you mean fi- actually follow on social media? Do you mean, what do you watch? Yeah. Like, what do you care about oh, sports-wise? It's the same answer still. Um, We're not big sports. What books do you read? You don't really read, do you? I Let's re- call you out. To be honest, it's fair. Yeah. I haven't read a book. <laughs> dead ass. Like, book cover to cover probably since high school. Which is really sad. I started books. Um, yeah, after my breakup last year, I was going through it. So I was like, I'm going to start reading books, whatever, to get my mind sure. off of things. I don't have the attention span for it anymore like I used to. And I don't know why that is. But I, the only thing that could like get me through the breakup was TikTok. Because I yeah. think my brain is so fried, honestly. I needed TikTok because I needed the video and the music and the in your face. Whereas a book is too, that takes too much brain power. And I'm just saying front to cover, like front to cover. Cover to cover, front to back. It's literally probably been like five or six years since I've read a book in its entirety. But I've read bits and pieces of books here and there. You have two of my books. Have you read them yet? No. So I was going to say, so at the (laughs) beginning, no, not the beginning of quarantine. It was even before then. It was sometime last some year. Some type of winter break or something. I was in Kristen's room at her apartment on campus, and she had 1984, which I was fucking dumb in high school, so when everyone got to read 1984 in their AP English classes, I was reading, I don't know, Catcher in the Rye, which, by the way, was a great book. I liked Catcher in the Rye, so fuck yeah. all y'all that read 1984. I read Catcher in the Rye instead, and I loved it, so... 
suck on that. But um, you I was not one of the special ones that was chosen to read 1984. Um, so I felt like I missed out on a big part of everyone's childhood. Everyone read 1984. So when I saw it on, on her bookshelf, I was like, 1984, Big Brother. Can I read it? Big um, I read, I think, first of all, there were pages missing. I yeah, I only get that. used books. Yeah. So I probably read 12 or 14 <laughs> pages, maybe. Yeah. It was in the double digits. I made it to the double digits. There you go. Not far. Yeah. Not far. You have far. to be in the mood to read. Like, I was still... What's the... You know the arc of a story? What's this part called? Huh. Exposition? I don't remember that. I wasn't good at... I liked I was good with reading, reading, but I English didn't like English was my writing. best class in high school. Not so, mine. first of all... Get that through your brains. <laughs> <laughs> I was smart. I may not read. I, I may not I read, good. but I'm literate. <laughs> I, I, I I was smart at one point in my life in one subject only, and that was English, and I loved English class. But I don't read for fun. I do. Um, but anyway, you also have my, I made it to page 12. And then, yeah, and then I also took The Shining because I was like, that will be a good book for me to, like, immerse myself in. I've heard it's scary. I've never read a scary book before. They're fun. So I was like, I'd, I'd love to have, I'd love to try that. Because, honest God, all I've ever read have been, like, comedian autobiographies. Like, yeah. Amy Poehler. Or, like, um, like, what is it called? Um, young Adult. Like, the love books. Like, oh, romantic yeah. YA books. Rom-com. Yeah. Like, th- yeah, those sure. types of things. That's Why my uh, discography or whatever. I have. So I was like, let me try a scary book. Haven't even opened it up yet. The Shining. Give me a bag. Oh, yeah. They're in my room. Come steal them. I, I will. don't care. Put them back in my bookshelf. Yeah, let me take tell them you, back. Um, I loved reading in high school. Like, that was my peak. I read, like, a book a month. And I keep them all. They're like my weird collect. Not weird. I think that's a good collection. Yeah. I have a bookshelf in my room. You know it? Mm-hmm. And that's only half of it. The other half is in my garage. It's just my bookcase is too small for all of them. I don't want it to look messy. I brought my favorite. Right. Um, but The Shining was my first scary movie, scary book. I mean, genuinely, there was one point I was like, I had to close it for a second. I was like, oh, I'm a little creeped out. And it was just a, a fire hose came to life in his head. But I don't know why that freaked me out. But it's a good book. It's long. Right. It's yeah. Long. It's like a double part. That baby is thick. It's thick. Um, but I did read. I haven't read, read a, read a long time until quarantine. Mm-hmm. So, like, I either was studying like a loser or I was reading like mm-hmm. a nerd. I read In Cold Blood, which is a true story about a real murder. And it was really cool. Very much enjoyed it. It took mm-hmm. a hot minute. It's old, so it's like mm-hmm. written in like not an old language, but so proper they have to be like, what the hell does that mean for a second? Yeah. So it took me a while. Yeah. And then I read Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I have like That's a fun, whole though. collection. I read a lot of his mm-hmm. short Doyle, the author. I read a lot of yeah. his short stories. Those Wait, that was too. before quarantine? During quarantine. During quarantine. Yeah. I found my book collection in a box. All right. Bro, I busted her out. Busted it open. I think you would like Cold Blood. Yeah, I mean, I like murders. You know, like you... <laughs> I like murder stories. No, Let me yeah. change Everyone that sentence. Everyone loves true crime and all that yeah. stuff. It's a real story. Yeah. But you know it. You know who the murderer are. murderers are by, like, the second chapter. That's cool. So it's not, like, a mystery... Um, but their story school and people like he met. I think the author met the prisoners, like who did it. Oh, really? Yeah, and oh, like man. got their stories. That's cool. Yeah, and it was like they were a team, and then you slowly watched them like turn on each other. It was good. It was good. Speaking of murders, something that I got into in recent, I would say months. There's this YouTube channel called JCS Criminal Psychology. Um, I got so far into this YouTube channel that I was like, I'm going to change my major to criminology. Never even told you about that. But I was like, I was ready to drop everything because I was so, I just, it's so intriguing. But they do like literally hour long YouTube videos, sometimes literally nearly like two hours long. Mm -hmm. And they just talk about like, there's a Casey Anthony one, like all the classics, whatever. Um, But they go through... 
they show like the interrogation video, like the security footage or whatever on the camera of the interrogation videos, and they'll pause it and literally talk about the psychology of what the interrogator is going through, yeah. like the methods that they're using, and then they'll talk about the psychology behind how like the murderer is acting and why they're reacting That's that way. Cool. And it's so cool. It's so cool. That's like, really I highly recommend it. I literally, it, I started watching that last year, junior year, when Mary and I would go downtown, like go clubbing. <laughs> She would be in her room blasting fucking pop music, getting ready, pre-gaming for the bars, like doing her makeup. And then I'd be doing my makeup to like psychology, criminology videos or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Like it was so funny how like literally my door would be closed. I'd be doing my makeup, getting ready, drinking to like Casey Anthony murder like, tapes how as she's that. like That's partying funny. and dancing. It was so funny. But... They, like, stopped for a hot minute. There were a good few months where they weren't uploading anymore, but now they are. But I love a good murder story. True crime stuff. Yeah. That's why we watch BuzzFeed Unsolved Yeah, we time. love BuzzFeed Unsolved. I love learning about, like, all Do you think we things. get them on our podcast? <gasps> I would cry. Shane. Do you think they could do charity work <laughs> and come on here? Yeah, I mean, we are charity. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I love true crime stuff. Yeah. It's just good so time. interesting. Sad, oh, but it, Oh, it yeah, sad. definitely. Yeah. No, I'm not like the type that's like, like you watch that dark tourism show, yeah. where it's like I fantasize about Jeffrey Dahmer. Weird. Or Charles uh, that's, Manson. Yeah, I'm not that not far it. deep. I just like. I the like story. knowing more about the story. Yeah. Because it's like you yeah. know, like oh yeah, he did this, this, and this. But then mm-hmm. I like being like, oh, this is what he yeah. was before, during, after. This is like the families. That's just yeah. interesting. I just had a flashback. I think. The last episode of this podcast before quarantine, I talked about O.J. Simpson. I think so. The people first you did not definitely, like... At some like, point. One of the recenter ones. Yeah. Recenter? That ain't is that a word? word. Probably not. I literate. <laughs> I funny. I forgot about the I funny. I cute. I literate. I know how to speak. Add to that. Good. Well. I, that was a joke. Oh. Welcome to the first grade Spongebob. It's first grade Spongebob. Duh. What's your favorite Spongebob episode? Um... I'll tell you what my not favorite one okay. is, and it's the butterfly moth. Moth. Or butterfly, so, yeah. Butterfly. When they're in Sandy Cheeks' globe. <laughs> Whatever the <laughs> hell it is. The air bubble. Uh, air palace. What's she call it, though? Her house. Dome? <laughs> oh, it might be Sandy's a dome. dome? <laughs> Sandy's house. Do they just call it Sandy's house? Yeah. Yes, they're not like, let's go to How's Sandy's she under underwater the ocean, cove. Though? Um... I don't know. They might have explained it at one point. I don't remember. Which, do you have a favorite episode? Um. Shut up, you bucket of bolts. <laughs> Is it that one? No. We say that like every day. <laughs> <laughs> like, I swear, every day. Literally, we every it, day we say shut up. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Shut up, you bucket of bolts. <laughs> um. Spongebob. I like, uh, I don't like them all. I don't know. I can't I don't think have a of like, yeah. I like the Marching Man one. <laughs> Where they perform at the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. There's mayonnaise in it. That one? Yeah. I like the fish hook one. Hooky? Mr. Krabs told mm-hmm. him not to yeah. play by the fish hooks and then yeah. got caught gets, Yeah, exactly. Bit. That's a good one. Yeah. I mean, um, they're all good. The dollar I ripped one. ripped my pants. When they paid the dollar. That was probably my first time when, having anxiety ever. Yes. <laughs> Stressful. As a kid. Stressful yeah. it was. What did Patrick say? He's like, SpongeBob, we have technology. Yes. And then he beat the computer. He's like, we're not cavemen. <laughs> we have technology. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. That's a good one. I like that one a lot. I also love yeah. the movie. The first one ever made, not... Never seen the other one. Above Get the out sea there. Or like the one where, uh, where they're like not underwater and they no, look weird. No, it just came out. If yes. I just came out, I mean probably 2016. Yeah. But Haven't seen it. More recently. But they look weird and not a no, fan. No, they're like superheroes or something. Yeah. No, I'm talking David Hasselhoff movie. Yeah, when they ride they on his pecs, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and they have, because they have That's the hair in the bag, but Patrick looks yeah. like that. Shell City. I like that we're talking about Spongebob and we're seniors in college. Are you surprised? No, because we have a talk Literally, about him every you know day. What's, like, okay, when we all moved in, for some reason, like, we watch Hulu a lot. We only watch kids' shows. Jimmy like, Neutron, like. Fairy Odd Jimmy Parents, Neutron. Drake and Josh. We, Sweet Life on Deck. Oh, yeah. No, the first show we started binging when we all moved in was Sweet Life and Zack and Cody. Like, why? I don't know why, but uh, we did. Good show. Oh, we've been doing Disney Plus a lot. That's fine. Yeah, we watched Hannah Montana for a good bit. I'm sticking to Full House, though. I, I do like Full House. I want to ride it out. 
I got too eager. I'm sorry. I watched season five last night. I just want to see when Steve. Steve comes will in. probably we be here watch soon. Should watch that so Raven. I love that so Raven. Show. It's so funny. Did you like Core in the House? Um, not as much as that so Raven, but I watched it. All right. <laughs> Friendship <laughs> over, I guess. Like, what time should we watch? Be? Even Stevens. Um, soon. Because I feel like the guys out there waiting. Yeah. Have? Okay. Um. Watch Disney we've Plus. Discussed that's what we're <laughs> we've discussed saying. Even Stevens. What? Can I tell you something? Is it about I have a Shia secret. LaBeouf? Because yeah. I love him. I have a secret. Oh, I knocked my water. Remember when you, me, and Mary watched the Lucy McGuire movie? Yes. I had never seen it. <laughs> that what? Was, was that a secret? <laughs> yeah. Did I, you say that you saw it? Um, Mary kept being like, remember this? Remember when this happened? Remember when this happened? And I was too scared to be like... No, <laughs> because I had already told you guys that I hadn't seen the Hannah Montana movie, and that was enough ridicule as is. So I, didn't I didn't say shit. Well, then Carolina Mary. You know did. I don't give a. Uh, well, I know it wasn't you. I know, girl, I know it wasn't you. But I got enough ridicule as is for not ever having seen the Hannah Montana movie. Yeah. So I didn't want to go through that <laughs> bullying. <laughs> Torment. That torment in my own home. Ridicule. So I literally just stayed silent and pretended like I hadn't seen it before. <laughs> I lied. I was like, yeah, I know who Paolo is. Smile I don't know. Way. I only, <laughs> yeah, I, I pulled the penguins in Madagascar. Smile and wave, boys. Um, I loved the movie. Great movie. But Secrets Out, I had never seen it. I'm a liar. I just realized we only quote cartoons and kid children shows are we 21 or 11 uh, definitely 11 well you know what i'd rather quote that I was more than sure rick and morty something. and stupid shit like that so i just saw did you see that tweet about rick and morty is it about the jokes yeah yeah we don't like rick and morty in this house i don't like adult by this house i mean just us two because i think our other two roommates do like that show they do but it was what was the other show that the tweet mentioned uh, nathan nathan for, for you. you but i do like nathan to be honest you. Also haven't seen Nathan for you. I feel like I'd like it, but I just never watched it growing up, I guess, and it's just, I haven't yeah. watched it. It's but anyway, good. there was a okay. tweet, I guess we both saw it, that yeah. said, like, Nathan for you fans and um, Rick and Morty fans are mm-hmm. so obnoxious yeah. because they're the type that, what was the joke? It, was, was, it? it was like, they're like, they think they're special because they get, they get the, the joke. jokes in the show, but so does everyone else. Yeah, like they think they're special <laughs> because they're like, oh, you have to have advanced humor to understand smart this show. jokes and smarts and quotations. Oh, yeah, also, I watched, I've never seen an episode of Rick and Morty, but yeah. Mary has shown me a clip, not to call Mary out, she's listening, I didn't find it funny. Yeah, like, I mean, I that's not your humor, humor and that's I don't know, fine. it's just not. Yes, yeah. not. You know, I don't like adult fans. I don't like adult cartoons. I like Bob's Burgers. No. I, I never finished it, but I enjoyed it. Um, but besides that, I'd rather watch a child cartoon <laughs> than an adult cartoon. That's what I'm know. saying. Jimmy I, that's what, I like Bojack Horseman a lot. Um, but that's not funny. It's not a funny show. I mean, it's got funny moments, but Bojack Horseman's actually a really serious show. So it's not like, oh, we're trying to be funny. Yeah. Not like I don't know. Whatever. It also just was so different, such a different concept. But what do I know? What, what I had never do we know, the, guys? Sure, nothing. And on that note, we're gonna sign off. <laughs> <laughs> what do we know? We'll let you ponder that, and you can come tell us next. Week. Find out or in two weeks. Two sorry. weeks. Find out. In See, two weeks. Proof that we don't know shit. Last time we had a meeting, this was last semester, they were like, yeah, you're going to record bi-weekly. And we both looked at each other and went, what does that mean? Does that, does, that, does that mean every other week or does that mean twice a week? Yeah. I think so we, we, we were leaning more to every, every other, other week. week. So we does were on the right sense? side. Yeah. But, you know, it's yeah. better to not, to question it. You know yeah. what I mean? We questioned yeah. silently to ourselves and then Googled it. Yeah. So we didn't look dumb in public. So, yeah, what do we know? Not Nothing. much. <laughs> Um, come back next but week to learn yeah. that we also know nothing. <laughs> come back next week to learn the same lesson you've already been taught throughout these past 12 episodes. Happy 12th anniversary. The bicentennial. <laughs> the bicentennial. That's 100. Wait, another thing. Who's... Who... Who... <laughs> Hello? She's drunk. I was gonna, no, I'm not. I was going to ask a question. I was going to say, which famous uh, TV character Character's birthday is on 
America's anniversary of the bicentennial. Yeah. In 19... Put it in the it? comments 76. below and we'll choose Take a winner. Take a guess. <laughs> Whose birthday is on America's bicentennial? We'll give the winner... Should I give a hint? A shout out. No. Absolutely not. Oh, okay. No, no oh, the cheating. hints in the episode. If they think they smart and research... Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. Whose birthday is on? Exactly. Whose birthday is on the anniversary of America's bicentennial? If you even know what that is, idiots. <laughs> My own audience. Dumbass. <laughs> no. All right. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> See you next week.